Hello and welcome to the Django Celery Mastery course. Just a quick reminder, if you like this course and would like to access the source code and more, you can access this course on Udemy. The link to the course, which should provide the best price, is in the video description. So Celery provides a feature called task grouping. This is going to allow us to group multiple tasks together and perform operations on them as a group. So this can be used for many different scenarios, for example, when you want to track the progress or results of a group of related tasks. Using grouping does go a little bit deeper than that, and there are many other benefits and reasons why you might want to use them. So for example, parallel execution. So task grouping allows us to execute multiple tasks in parallel. We can think about dependency management. So for example, grouping helps manage dependencies between tasks. So you can define dependencies among tasks and ensure that certain tasks are executed only after, for example, the completion of other tasks. So result aggregation, progress tracking, error handling, task composition. So grouping tasks provides a way of composing complex workflows or pipelines by combining multiple smaller tasks. So this helps us break down complex tasks into smaller manageable units, and then we can organize them into groups based upon their logical relationships. I mean, overall group task or you know, task grouping in Celery really does provide a flexible and powerful mechanism for organizing, executing, and managing related tasks in our distributed application. So we'll start where we left off in the previous tutorial. Now, remember what we did previously. We created a few tasks and we provided some sort of priority system in terms of which worker they are processed, which worker the task is processed by. And then we went ahead and I copy and pasted a load of functions and pasted them into a terminal to actually trigger the different tasks. So we're going to go ahead and group this set of tasks here. Okay, so what we're going to do we we'll move into the Django container first. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we we'll manage.py and we we'll go into the shell and we'll work in the shell for this. So first of all, first of all, let's go ahead and from celery, let's go ahead and import group. We are also going to need the tasks. So let's go ahead and just add those in. So we we'll import those tasks. There we go. Okay, so now we need to group the tasks. So let's say task group for example equals group so we use group and then we just need to bring the task so tp1 we're going to use s so here then the s method is used to create a signature object for each task so here in salary s method is used to create a signature object for the task uh, it stands for signature yeah the signature represents a task that can be executed or included in the task group okay so let's do the same thing then for all of these tp2 tp3 and tp4 4. okay so that's our task group um i didn't finish that apologies okay so that's our task group set so now we just need to trigger the task group now you can see that i have added it to the commands here so if you do forget or if you need to write that down make some notes it will be in the commands file which you can find in the code repository most code repositories are added into many of the i say most and many i'm mixing it up here you will find the code source code in many of the tutorials resources but it may be found at the end of the section or maybe at the start of the course there may be a folder for it so all we need to do now then is go ahead and fire this off so task group uh, you can say it is not defined so task group is not find uh, maybe we've made a, a little mistake there so let's go ahead and set our task group again and then let's just use this now there we go so it looks like our task group has been fired off let's go ahead and look in the docker desktop here actually that isn't very useful so it should be in salary one that's the worker that we're using so i'll just clear that and try that again so we can clearly see that it has actioned those tasks. So you can see it's found or it's received the tasks and then it's gone ahead and processed them. Although that was a very quick introduction to groups at this point, it does familiarize ourselves with utilizing a group and it shows us how we can then trigger multiple tasks.